Thank you very much for watching my video and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button in the bottom right of the video. And say hi to everyone. Wait, Tweety decided to go away. Hey, Tweety, what are you doing? Come here. Come back. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Tweety is like, uh, camera shy. <laughs> Tweety, where are you going? Anyway, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the cage setup when you want to put a green chick on your and a parakeet who just uh, got away from me. So anyway, Tweety, uh, basically, I'm gonna show you how to set it up when you try to mix a green chick on your and a parakeet. Uh, we used to have uh, three parakeets, but two died. Um, actually, one died last year, and Sky, the blue one that you seen on my video, he died this year. He got sick, so he died. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you the, their cage setup and what you need to do and what kind of cage size uh, that you need when you own a green chick conure. That's right. Uh, you cannot buy a small cage for bird this size because they like to move around, they like to hop around. You want to give them space. Uh, you want a bigger cage. Basically, I'm going to show you their cage setup. Right, Polly? What are you, what are you eating? She's eating her dinner. What? What is it? Are you chewing? Did you chew with your mouth open? Ew, what, what is wrong with you, man? What? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Oh yeah, look, she's talking to me. She's like a little kid. What? You just chew your food with your mouth open. Okay, I'm gonna show you uh, their cage setup and the size of their cage. Now, the thing is, when you put a green chick on you that is jealous like Polly, and a parakeet, they want their own perches, and they want their own football, and they want their own what? Uh, toys. So, I'm gonna show you their cage setup. Yes, Polly, what is it? I know, you don't have to get mad. Let's show everyone your cage setup. Anyway, I'll be back. I'm back. This is basically the size of the cage that you want for the green chick on here. Uh, since we used to have like three parakeets, uh, if you, as you can see, we have a lot of newspaper. This is basically how you control their poop. You watch their behavior. They only poop in a certain area. So once you figure out where they poop, you just have to put the newspaper where they poop and just place it there. They don't usually poop anywhere else except certain areas. So anyway, yeah, you don't want to buy, you know, like you've seen the cheap small cage for like $35. You don't want that. This cage. This one is $135, this one's $159, it's pretty size, uh, pretty big size cage. Yes, Molly, what is it, darling? So, what you want to do with their cage, as you can see, you want to put a lot of perches. You know, like, this perch is really good because they use it for trimming their beak, it has the core surfaces, so... And you want to uh, vary the different perches, and this one is wood, they like to chew on it. And this one is uh, for trimming their beak too. It's uh, like kind of plastic with sand, like coarse side. They actually probably use it to wipe her beak here. And another, uh, what do you call that, rock for trimming their beak. And as you can see, you want to vary the different kind of perches. And make sure you put like enough toys because they do get bored when you're at work. Like they, they love this bell and they love this uh, spinning wheels. And also they like this uh, big uh, toys thing. They, they play with it once in a while. Uh, Tweety actually is very playful. She loves that uh, bell as you can see uh, in my previous video. And what is it darling? I'm showing your home. Yeah, I'm showing your home. What happened is you want to separate their football. This is Polly's football. Basically, uh, this is Tweety's football. As you can see, that's parakeet food. The thing is, yes, Polly. Polly is very possessive and she wants to occupy everything. So you want to separate everything. Uh, you only have well, like one water bowl right there. Actually, they can share the water. But with food, you want to separate their food. And I put some... Uh, spray millet here and that's a parakeet food right there so you want to put 
plenty of toys and the different perches. Make sure uh, don't get one type of perch. Get the the rock one, wood, coarse plastic right here for uh, you know wiping their feet. And this one is the really hard uh, rock perch for uh, trimming their beak. Actually, it's really good for them. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you make sure you want to have like variety of toys. What is it, Polly? You always want to be in a camera? I know, I know. What is it? Do you want to show everyone uh, your cage? And this is Tweety's cage. We used to have like uh, three parakeets. As you can see, there are two mirrors. Basically, that's where uh, Sky, the blue one, used to hang out. That's where yellow one, Sunny, used to hang out. They they all have their own toys, as you can see. That's there is a for uh, trimming their beak, and again, the perches are all varies. The wood, you know, like coarse sand, uh, plastic perch, you know, like they, you need a lot of perches, and make sure the size of the cage is big enough for them because you want to make sure they have plenty of space to move around and to exercise. What is it, Polly? What is it? Uh, we're we're showing your cage right now, and they love this arc. To and then we put their food here, and their food there, and to control their poop, you just put paper all around their cages. You know, you watch where they poop. So you once they poop, you just have to throw it in the garbage. What is it, Polly? Shame on you, Polly. You just poop in front of a camera. You just poop in front of a camera. It's okay. I love you. You're just a big baby. I'm gonna put a big diaper on you, Polly. You need a big diaper. You want a big diaper? Yes, Titi. What is it, Titi? Hello. Hi, everyone. So that's my poo poo. Basically, yeah, that's how you control your poop. You put all this paper all around the cages. So they will poop in one spot. Even, you know, uh, any part of the house. So, yeah, basically, you want a big cage just for them. And make sure that you put like plenty of toys. And that's the uh, tweet, uh, the parakeet water bowl. Uh, we're going to adopt more parakeets later on when we have time. But as you can see, that's like variety of perches in the cage. Yes, yeah, right now Tweet is basically staying with Polly. So this is what this art the cage setup is. You know, a lot of perches, something to trim their beak, like some rock. You know, like this and water bowl at least two separate uh bowl for their food because so they won't fight for food see so anyway yes polly you want to say bye to everyone okay I'll, uh, I'll be back that's basically their cage setup if you want to mix a green chick on here and a parakeet you want a big cage uh, that allows them to have space to play around to move around to have plenty of exercise you don't want a small cage you want a big cage that is reasonable not too big you know but yeah i know i know i know i love you i love you i love you oh paul is annoyed she's she's eating her dinner and she doesn't like me when i interrupted her okay we, we, we will let you eat your dinner soon okay but let's say bye to everyone say bye so basically yeah you want uh you know like a lot of perches that uh different type of perches you know and two footballs for the parakeet and for the green chick corner so they won't have to fight. I know, I know, I love you. I'm very sorry I interrupted your dinner. Okay, I'll put you back in your cage, okay? You see, basically, I have to talk to her like a little kid. What is it? Are you mad? I'm so sorry. So, yeah, as you can see, uh, okay, Paul <laughs> decided to go back and continue to eat her dinner. So, anyway, yeah, you have to have plenty of purchase for them to, you know, hop around and plenty of toys the thing is they need toys for their activities they get bored easily especially when we're not at home so they have plenty of toys to play with and you know i usually put them together in one cage when i'm at work so they can just play around and just gossip <laughs> then they do the bird talk but yeah as you can see you know like you you have you have to have like two separate football and plenty of toys they they love the, to own their own toys they're very territorial they will claim a toy of their own yeah really it's like little kid you know this is my toy <laughs> so anyway that's why we put two mirrors on two different sides because each parakeet actually claim sides that's right they 
they have this natural tendency to uh, claim like a territory. So sky will claim the uh, right side and sunny would claim the left side. No, sky the right side, sunny the left side. And Tweety somewhere in the middle. It's kind of weird. But anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much again for watching my video and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, please uh, support this channel by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Thank you. Bye. Love you guys.